Hey guys, it's Dan, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the mistakes uh, you would want to avoid as a fix and flipper. This video will be geared more towards the newbie flipper. We're going to be talking about three things, permits, hiring professionals, and uh, staying on top of your vendors. So here we have my OCE services. This is the municipality that our current fix and flip is in. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So as you can see, we have three different permits that were already issued to us. Building, electrical, mechanical. The building permit was for an old roof uh, to be replaced with a new roof. Electrical was for the panel replacement and mechanical was for the HVAC system. Along the process of having the electrical panel inspected, the inspector had found that we were replacing some of the fixtures in the kitchen, such as cabinets, kitchen faucets, appliances, um, old switches, electrical switches, lights and fans, and also shower valves, things of that nature. And this is something we didn't know that the county requires permits for. We didn't have this much red tape back in Vegas, so this was kind of um, kind of kind of kind of caught us by surprise. So it's definitely something we want to share with you guys, so you guys don't make the same mistakes we do. We recommend that you start on the on the permit process in the very front end. Get your building permits, electrical permits, plumbing permits, whatever the county or your municipality requires. You may come across instances where you have to get either some kind of third party analysis or report in, in this case we had to go through a title 24 analysis to have this building permit issued to us and this is what is known as a title 24 analysis and, and the reason the county needs this is because california requires this analysis um, in an effort to promote energy efficiency in new homes or retrofits in existing buildings. This report costs about $100 to $300. We were right in the middle with this company at $250 and they ran a, a, a comprehensive analysis which is allowing us to submit our paperwork for the remodel permit. So back into the permits guys. It's always good just to ask your municipality what they need, uh, what your plans are and what permits you will need for that. It might get a little expensive just because each permit may cost anywhere from 50 to $300 just to have them issued. If you have unpermitted work being done, you will have a stop work notice and you will no longer be issued permits. And you may ask, why do I need permits? Well, if you're fixing and flipping, you might come across a buyer whose lender is requesting permits for the new roof that you have issued. And if you don't have them, well, there goes your buyer. So let's talk about hiring professionals. Professional contractors may seem more expensive, but definitely well worth it in the end. For example, they know where to save you money along your project. Since this may be one of your first flips, an experienced contractor may be able to assist you with the permit process. Be sure to ask them if this is part of their scope of work because some of them do, some of them don't. They might cost an additional fee, but think of that as paid education. Be sure to ask them questions along the way and learn as much as you can for that service. Now, how do you stay on top of these professionals, these vendors that you hire? We typically run our projects in three phases, demo work, interior work, phase two, phase three, phase four. However many phases you need, you only pay the contractor for whatever work they have already done. Once that phase is done, you move on to the next phase, pay them after that's done. So basically they're getting paid in thirds. And this really helps you facilitate the project. It really helps you keep the contractor motivated to complete the project, which will hopefully result in you being on time and on budget. And uh, well, that's it for the video, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, any uh, newer fix and flippers out there watching this video, have any questions, uh, maybe kind of want some insight into what to anticipate, uh, comment any questions you have down below. Let us know if these types of videos are informative enough for you guys to continue watching them. Really helps out the channel with your engagement. And as always, have a great day, make things happen, and work on your future today. See ya. Thank you.